Welcome back to my channel Forensic Forum. Our today's topic is Gustafson's method in forensic. Before discussing this method let's see the tooth anatomy. This is the anatomy of the tooth. It has two anatomical parts, the crown and the root. The crown is the top part that is exposed and visible above the gum. It is covered with enamel, which protects the underlying dentine. What is Gustafson's method? It is a method for determining age from teeth in the dead. This method can be used to estimate the age from 25 to 60 years. It uses the microscopic examination of longitudinal section of the tooth as a result of wear and tear with advancing age. Six criteria were used that are 1. Attrition it is wear and tear marks over the occlusal surfaces of the teeth due to mastication. In this image we can compare the length of normal healthy teeth with real image of teeth showing attrition. 2. Periodontosis. In this the gum margins become retracted and loosening of teeth occur exposing the neck and adjacent part of the root. In this image we can see open root due to periodontosis. 3. Secondary dentin. Dentin within the pulp cavity decreasing its size. In this image we can see reduced size of pulp space due to secondary dentin. 4. Root resorption. Root resorption due to aging starts at the apex and extend upwards. Here we can see degraded root. 5. Transparency of root. In this the dentin becomes transparent at the root level. It is the most reliable criteria. 6. Cementum apposition. Cementum is a specialized calcified substance covering the root of tooth. We can relate this accumulation with the image. On the basis of these characteristics 0 to 3 points are given as 0 for no change. 1 for beginning of change. 2 for obvious change. 3 numbering for maximum change. To follow this method anterior teeth are more suitable. In this image we can relate the attrition level from a 0, a 1, a 2, and a 3. Then secondary dentin from S0, S1, S2, S3 as more thick with the comparison of S1. Then we can check the periodontosis from P0 to P3 as gum lining are shifting toward the root. Thick cementum collection at site of C3 as compared to C1. Transparency of root and degradation of root are more severe in T3 and R3 location. This is the formula for age estimation. In this formula X equals total score of all 6 criteria after numbering them as 0, 1, 2, and 3. This is the mnemonics to remember all 6 criteria, that is script. Thanks for watching.